New month, new pickups from streetwear and sneakers to some EDC stuff. Stick around for this one. I think you'll like it. So let's start off with this piece right here that comes from Plateau Studios, a Taiwanese brand. Shout out to y'all. These are their flared cargo pants and I did get it in a size one because I do have a small waist, around 29 or 30. And what I really like about this is it's color blocking. So there's mixes of gray and a very, very light olive, which just makes these pants much more interesting to look at. So the best part about these pants is the zipper actually back here. It starts off like a straight cut. And then you just pull the zipper back and you got a flared, almost a, a boot cut type, type of look and it has like you know you get a mess with your proportions it just has a really cool shape to it definitely reminiscent of the 80s and a very versatile pair of pants i think the back of these pants on a fit pick will look great and i definitely recommend wearing a t-shirt or a tank top tucked in along with a crop jacket to really optimize the way it looks but with me in this fit right here i'm wearing a button up with a minimal overshirt and i don't know what it is about flared pants but it really does give the illusion of making you look a little bit taller even though i didn't even tuck in my shirt for this one but yeah definitely check out plateau studios they have some dope stuff uh just be aware they are an international brand so you're gonna have to pay an international fee depending on your bank and so now here we have a shirt from fundamental and so if you don't know the brand fundamental already they are a japanese brand and they do focus on a lot of patchwork stuff but recently i was trying to cop their collaboration with latency they had this really cool grayscale black and white jacket but they sold out instantly so i had to settle with this one right here which is their tie-dye shirt with a mandarin collar and i did go for a size three for those of you asking and it is pretty fitted on me so if i were you i would definitely make sure you understand your sizing for japanese brands because their sizing is completely different than American or UK brands. This is definitely a huge statement piece. I just love the forest colors on it. Now just know this stuff is a bit pricey. So I'm going to wear this one a lot. So I'll get my money's worth with it. Next we have the Rick and Converse collaboration. So I originally had those square toed shoes. And I kind of liked them at first. But honestly they make my big ass feet look even bigger. And so I wasn't really a fan of those. And you know, I'm a size 10 and a half or an 11. And I'm only 5 foot 7. Kind of weird how genetics work. So you can imagine how big it made my feet look. But recently they came out with these ones and thank goodness they got rid of that square toe and they maintained those bulky bumpers along the heel and toe along with that extended tongue and i could have went with the classic black and white colorway honestly that's probably gonna be the most popular one but i already have those converses and i don't own these ones yet so i just thought why not i'm definitely loving these ones right here with the light bone colorway I do recommend sizing down a half a size. I got these in a 10 and a half and they're still a little bit too large. So now we're gonna move on to my Lululemon pickups because they are the sponsor of today's video. So for the first item up, let's talk about the Lululemon Lab cargo jackets. What I really love about this jacket is it suits that minimal vibe and you get 360 degrees of ventilation. As you can see, there's a flap in the back. So you're gonna get a bunch of airflow and then you got the front snap buttons. Look at that ventilation. It has a really cool design. You got dual entry cargo pockets and interior pockets and it has this textured, water repellent fabric which makes this a perfect piece especially for city dwellers because you get a lot of movement with this as well and with that light bone cream colorway it'll definitely pair well for the springtime i did get a size medium and it fits as advertised you know a little bit roomy it's meant to be layered with and it has this minimalistic design so really this can pair with athleisure fits and basically most other styles that you're into you really don't see that many minimal pieces with these technical elements to it so this definitely suits that gray man tech wear look and the color area is very interesting as well it's super thick I don't know, how would you wear this? So let's talk about the ABC Jogger, a bestseller and a favorite for a reason. And what's so cool about this one is this is their shorter length version. You know, as a guy that's five foot seven, I really appreciate that. And they've got your standard lengths as well. I did get mine in the Obsidian colorway and it is a size small. You know, it fits how you'd like for training, a little bit more fitted, but moves around with your body. It's slim and stretchy, there's no chafing. And these come in a ton of other colorways, so there's definitely something for everyone. It's quick drying, has four way stretch, and we all love that, especially for the upcoming warm weather but it's also breathable and even wrinkle resistant and a really cool part about these pants is these will actually maintain their shape i've always hated joggers that stretch out over time and then you have to wash it so it shrinks back this one is definitely going to last a while it's a best seller for a reason definitely check it out now next up we have another jacket this one right here is the expeditionist jacket the perfect piece for warmer weather and athleisure i got mine in the plum colorway but they do have black and navy I just thought I'd switch it up in terms of color. And this is a size small, very naturally fitted. And what I love about this piece is the breathability. Yes, water repellency is very cool, which this is water repellent by the way, but breathability over water repellency all day. This is something I'm going to be training in. I'm going to sweat. Let's move over to my workout so you can actually see how breathable it is. Best part about this jacket are the ventilation holes. You got one big one right there, and then you got these little ones right here. 
That way it provides more breathability whenever you're running or exercising, training like that. You're not gonna sweat as much. But also, because of its shape and design, you can definitely pair this with a more tech fit that leans more towards athleisure for sure. And would it be nice if there was a double zip to this? Yes, it would. But otherwise, this is a really dope piece. And my last pickup from Lululemon is the Metal Ventec Zip 2.0. Definitely been my favorite piece to train in lately. I've been trying to learn how to B-twist lately, and this has really performed. That was not it. The fit is perfect. It hugs the body but doesn't chafe because of the stretch and minimal seams. And it comes with their silver scent technology, which prevents the growth of bacteria. So that means more wears, less washes, more bang for the buck. And it just looks nice as well. I picked it up in this graphite colorway. It's very interesting to look at. I mean, they have other colorways as well, but I don't think they're as cool as this one. And yeah, just check out how stretchy this thing is. It does come with the half zip, so it's easy to get in and out of. Plus 3M reflectivity, which is a nice touch. And this is one of those pieces that'll look great outside of athleisure. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a ton of links down in the description where you guys can pick any of these items up if you guys do i do get a small kickback which goes back to supporting this channel i really appreciate it so just make sure you have room in your wardrobe for it up next are the blazer jumbos in the lows and the mids i'm just gonna hold this one right here because my grip strength is going out worked out this morning but anyways this is very reminiscent of the virgil ablo off-white blazers rest in peace virgil and yeah i picked these ones up because they just recently restocked heard a lot from you guys that you guys really enjoyed this one on my other blazer video and you guys know i'm a big fan of blazers and yeah i never really owned blazer lows except for the acronym ones i just like the mids better but this one i actually like the lows better i just think it looks better with the jumbo laces the jumbo swoosh the only thing i do not like is the big nike look at that that just takes up so much space on the the heel of the sneaker not really a big fan of that but if we move to the mids it actually just looks like your standard blazer but what's cool about this one is they came out with a different outsole compared to the standard blazers the lows have the same exact ones but the the mids they have a different one looks really cool and this one especially is dope as well it has that floral summer colorway look that cream heel and the mids actually have a stretch material right here so it's actually easier to take on and off and that's always a big complaint with blazers they just look dope i really enjoyed the jumbo blazers they actually did a really good job with this stays traditional definitely a great take on the classic blazers and much more comfortable to wear as well now next up is actually a fragrance i know i don't really talk about fragrances too much so let me know if you guys want me to talk about it i do have an assortment of other fragrances but yeah this one is from ralph lauren to be transparent they did send me this as well just as a gift so really you guys sent me this one so i appreciate y'all you know a lot of fragrance enthusiasts they like to explain scents i find it really hard to explain the scents or even understand what a scent smells like but i just love the design the bottle design has that cap right there just really clean black and gray design i don't know i really like this i love the smell as well i definitely recommend this fragrance right here you're gonna be a lot more different than the aqua de Gio boys and the next item up is actually for my peoples or anyone with a small nose bridge you know typically asians they do have a somewhat smaller nose bridge so it's actually really hard to find glasses that doesn't slip off their face and this brand Covery actually solves that issue as you can see it's much much thicker right there so it's not going to slip off of your nose and these frames do have a more squared off shape which i've been trying to experiment with. I have a lot of round shapes, but we're gonna roll with a square one just for fun. These kind of remind me of the a cold wall shades that dropped recently. So yeah, if you do have a small nose bridge, definitely check out the brand Covery. They definitely have a lot of dope stuff and you're gonna be supporting an Asian founded brand. So next up, let's talk about some EDC stuff. This one right here is a portable power bank with a solar panel on it so it can recharge with the sun. I just had to get this one because I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling this summer, this year in general. And it's always nice to have another way of recharging this. You can recharge this with a normal cable or use solar energy. And what's cool is this is super durable, as you can see, has two flashlights, has a compass on the back, and a carabiner as well. And it has 30,000 milliamp hours, which I believe you can charge your iPhone at least eight times. So definitely great if you guys are into hiking or going outdoors and stuff. And I don't have my keys right now, but I actually bought this keychain thing that has a stainless steel mini pen attached to it. And it's always nice to have a, a pen to carry around with you at all times. And this one's on my keychain. My next pickup is this journal. I definitely recommend journaling if you guys don't journal or just having something to write down physically. You know, everything's on the, your phone nowadays. Sometimes it's just nice to write something down physically, crossing it off physically. Yeah, all the time I look back at my old notebooks and stuff and see what tasks I had to do or how much money I made during that time. It's crazy when you look back and read your old journals. So I definitely recommend a journal if you don't have one. That's just some regular one that I really like the design of it. And it did come with a really nice pen. And last but not least is super unnecessary. Like this shouldn't even be on as part of the, the channel. Um, I'm a nerd, I'm a Star Wars nerd. And I got this lightsaber from Saber Forge. This is just super cool. So it has a gyroscope in it. You can hear it. If I move it, it makes a sound. 
makes the lightsaber sound. And this is actually Ahsoka Tano's lightsaber hilt. So you guys already know I do have a corgi named Ahsoka. And Ahsoka is one of my favorite Star Wars characters ever. And I bought this from Saber Forge. It was extremely pricey. They took three months to make this because it's uh, handcrafted and stuff. Definitely worth it for me though. Alright guys, those are my recent pickups lately. A lot of clothes, a lot of sneakers, unnecessary stuff like a lightsaber. Let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future. I do have a color blocking video that's going to come out soon, so keep an eye out for that. Give this video a like and subscribe. Check out Lululemon. Follow me on the socials, and until then, stay fly. Deuces.